how sick are they gonna be? What sort of surgeries might they need? How long will they be in the NICU? Having four babies and potentially four very sick babies, you hope and pray for the best, certainly, but to be a realist, it might not all be as beautiful and wonderful as you hope. There's one down here we call baby A. Over here is baby B, the one that's most active. C and D. Feeling all these it's movements inside. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to have a big family and we're gonna have it instantly. Do you say babies? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So there's always the hope to give mom the best possible outcomes, but we have to be realistic. We're dealing with increased rates of stillbirth and chromosomal abnormalities. And so that makes Kate's pregnancy very high risk. Doctors tell you straight up, there's, you have a 50% chance of major handicap when you have quadruplets. Come here, mom. I know that there's four little beans in there that are gonna rely on me to get them through this world. Our lives will be enriched by these children's lives, no matter who they are or what their situation is. So I'm about 30 and a half weeks. Our medical team has decided that they'll do a C-section by 34 weeks if I stay pregnant that long. I was asking her, like when you when you water breaks, does it break four times or once? You hope and pray for the best, but the odds of a 37-year-old woman having four genetically normal babies, not having miscarriage, I mean, the odds were so low. I was a premature baby. I was a, a pound and a half. You know, you hear all the odds against you. If we went on odds, I wouldn't have been here today because I'm one of those odds. Hey, give me a kiss. Can you give each other a hug? There's a part of me that doesn't want to get attached just in case something does go wrong. When the time comes, I'll believe it, but at this point I still almost don't believe that it's really going to happen. 11.30. That's our tea time for our foursome. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what, she, what you wish you were doing today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if they're all girls, we're gonna have a mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah. We need one boy, at least. Or we'll have to keep going. <laughs> Katie has made it to her 34th week and she made it to her planned cesarean section. You guys look so excited, I love it. Welcoming four babies into the world. You know, you don't get to do this very often. Sorry, right. I think it's too. Surprise, so we don't wanna know. Isn't that incredible? Caitlin and I both have had our kids here. Most of our nurses that work here deliver here. Is Casey ready? Yes! This is it! This is it! This is the day we've been waiting for! Let's meet them! Hey. Delivery is a risk. Your uterus is significantly expanded as compared to one or two, so there's increased risks of, of bleeding during a multiple delivery. Love you. All right, ready? Love you too, babe. Thanks. Okay. The advanced life support teams will be present, and there's going to be a team for each baby. Can we go get Dad? It's been a long road from where we started, huh? With no hospitalization. With That's no amazing. With no hospitalizations, no nothing. All right, uterine incision in a second. Hey, you got that camera ready? Oh my, God. oh my goodness. Here's one pumpkin's head. Hi, Boo Boo. Hi. It's a. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the world, pumpkin. Here we are. Here's oh our my goodness. Katie, we are doing great over here. Hi, Pumpkin. Here's Baby C. <laughs> Hi, little boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Hi, Baby D. This is on. Uh, what an angel. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> they looked great. I mean, they were all crying and screaming as yeah. they came out. Awesome. Three boys, huh? Yeah. Are you so super stoked? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I feel sorry for her little sister. I feel sorry for you, but... and I do. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's got 
gonna be so excited. Yeah. Hey, LZ, it's Brother John. Give me a call back out here in California. We've got some good news. Boy, girl, boy, boy. Smallest one is three and a half pounds, and the biggest one is four pounds. The girl was the biggest. Those are the last two. Those were all inside her. Oh my god. <laughs> Kiddos are down in the NICU. They're being uh, evaluated by the NICU teams. They're evaluating their vital signs, blood pressure, and some resuscitation. It's so nice to see you on the outside. She's giving a little pressure to help her breathe. But she's on room air as well, so she's not requiring any extra oxygen. But she's doing really oh well. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at his little hands. Can you hold his hand? A lot of kids. It's sinking in. I know, now it really is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're smiling, that's a big smile. You're a doll. Most of the nurses that work here are moms, so we know what the moms are going through and we love on these babies how we would love on our own babies, you know? So that has to be comforting for the moms because a lot of us have been there. Really, some of the nurses, the reason why they work here is because they've been through the same trials This is a big day. We're gonna get to hold all of the babies for the first time. <laughs> what are you thinking about now? The next 18 years. <laughs> it's real. Where's the help? You got us into this. And you're a champ for getting us through it. Yes. We're definitely not getting a dog now. There's no yeah. way. It's, right. it's okay. It's amazing to be even a little part of saving these babies' lives and helping them get closer to being home with their family. Who's there? Who's there? Hi, Molly. Molly, who's Hey, Molly, this? look. It's your brother, Henry. Can you give him a kiss? Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Oh, good. I can't believe the smallest one's home. I can't believe you're here. Welcome home. Don't worry, Ma, there's more coming. <laughs> We've come to take our baby home. Another one. I got an empty oh, arm. I got an empty awkward. arm. <laughs> we felt that growing up in a big family was a huge asset to the development of who we are as people, and so we certainly hope that they feel the same way. Give Charlie a kiss. Nope. Okay. You're okay with three. You don't want the fourth one, huh? To come okay. home a month after being in the hospital, we get all four of them home. And we're so fortunate and lucky, blessed. Five minutes, you're just gonna leave me with all four for five minutes, right? <laughs> We have help coming tonight, right? I think so. <laughs> Begin your sharp experience by choosing a doctor today.